Good morning, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to today's segment. We're gonna be going over the fundamentals of throwing a football. So, that usually includes hand placement, arm action, and footwork. I'm gonna give you guys some drills to help develop those skills. So, let's get started. All right, guys. So on today's episode, we're gonna be going over the fundamentals of throwing a football. For this, I'll have to bring my brother in to help me demonstrate some drills and some fundamentals. So Shaquille, come on in. Perfect. The first fundamental that we're gonna go over is hand placement on the football. So when you're grabbing a football, you wanna have your pointer finger towards the back end of the football, and you wanna have your fingers spread through the laces. I like to have my pinky a little bit further away from my ring finger, but some people like to have it right beside. Some people like to have these two fingers together. I like to spread mine out, okay? It's all preference, but just make sure that you do have this gap in your hand, this U-shaped gap, that'll help the ball come out properly. Perfect. The second fundamental that we're gonna go over is the arm motion. So the arm motion is very important. It's, uh, it's, it's what makes you get the ball out quickly and with power. So our proper arm motion is you want to have your chest up, head up, eyes up. You want to have your elbow up. And you want it to be a fluid motion with the ball coming back, pointing away from you, and then snapping towards your target. In order to get power, you want to bring your left elbow down towards your body. And you want to finish, when you throw the ball, you want to finish rotating your hand to your hip, just like this. And that gives the ball the proper spin. So once you have those two fundamentals down, we move on to our footwork. The footwork is very important for quarterbacks because it keeps you on your feet, it keeps you balanced, and it keeps you powerful. So, you want to have your feet just a bit more than shoulder width apart. You want to be on the balls of your feet, always moving, always looking, and always, uh, always stepping towards your target that you choose to throw to. So it should look like this. Moving, moving, step, and throw. Using all your fundamentals in one motion to throw the ball properly. So, the drills we're going to do to work on the fundamentals include this. We're going to begin with the dart throw. So you're going to grab your wrist, you're going to hold the ball properly just like I showed you with the uh, space in between your palm. And you're going to just throw like this to your partner. Just flick of the wrist, flick of the wrist, get the spin right. After you've done your reps of that, we're going to move to the uh, shoulder rotation. So we're going to start facing away, we're going to look at our target and we're going to throw. We're going to throw 10 reps, making sure our hips face the same way every time, every time. So, after we're done that way, we're gonna turn, we're gonna face the other way, and we're gonna rotate our body towards our target, keeping our hips facing that way, and we're going to do our 10 reps like this. Perfect. Once we've done it facing one way and then facing the other way, we involve our feet. So it's a crow hop or a shuffle, whichever you find easier, and depending on the distance you throw. You're going to work your feet towards your target, use all those fundamentals, and make the throw just like you would in a game. From there, we move on to, these are more in-game style drills. So this is called the bullet pass drill. So all we do is we stand across from our partner and we're gonna throw the ball, come here. We're gonna throw the ball in a bullet pass to our partner. So it looks like this. Perfect. See how my feet aren't moving? That's the first progression of this drill. So our feet will be facing our partner. We're gonna be using our upper body rotating and throwing the ball to him in a bullet pass. After that, the next prog progression we move into is using our feet and still throwing the bullet pass. So it looks like this. Work our feet towards the target and throw the football. Perfect. So make sure you're always working your feet towards your target. After that, we're gonna work on lob passes. So if you need to ever throw the ball deep over a defender or uh, just past a defender, you're gonna wanna do a lob pass. So it looks like this. Want to get under it still use your feet and just get it up and over so it looks just like that you're gonna do those get your reps down for that and once you've done the bullet pass drill and the lob pass drill without your feet moving and with your feet moving we move on to an in-game style drill so my receiver is going to come here he's just going to run a uh, a nine which is just a straight straight route a hail mary route and i'm just going to lob the ball to him so it'll look like this down, set, hut. See how I lob it up over? 
That's how you want to get over the defender. That's like, that's the proper usage of a lob pass. And after we've done the lob pass in game, we have a bullet pass, just like we would in game, which looks like this. So it looks like this. Uh, hut. So that one is for short routes. You want to throw it hard directly to your receiver while he's open and don't let the defender have time to get onto his back pocket and tackle him. So after today's episode, you guys will have the skills and the fundamentals that you need to throw a football in a game. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thanks for tuning in. All right, that's it for today's episode, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, today we went over the fundamentals of throwing a football. So just to recap, we started with hand placement of the football, which was towards the back end of the football with your pointer finger on the back of it and your fingers spread through the laces. Next, we worked on the arm motion, which was high elbow, high elbow, staying on top of the football, driving down through it, not letting your elbow sink and using your other arm as a source of power by driving it down. And then we worked on our footwork, which was a wide base and on the balls of your feet. So you're able to move around in the pocket, forward and backwards without uh, losing, any, uh, losing any speed and without uh, getting tripped up with your own feet. So a wide base actually helps you move around a lot easier. So we had some drills that we did. We started with, uh, with the first thing we did was actually talk about how you're supposed to hold it in your hand. So you leave a little bit of space under the palm of your hand. It's supposed to look like a U so that the ball can come out properly. After that, we began with our dart drill, which is standing, holding your wrist, and you threw to your partner 10 times. From there, we went to a shoulder rotation drill where you start, sorry, you start sideways and you rotate through and you keep your body facing forward. Rotate through, keep your body facing that way. After we face the other way, we rotate our body like this and we make our throw across our body to make those more difficult throws a little bit easier. After we did that, we went into a full throwing motion using our feet. So we had the ball, we crow hopped, and we threw to our partner. Uh, after those drills were completed, we actually went and grabbed my uh, drill partner here, Shaquille, and we went and did some live throws. So he was running routes and I threw to him or tried to throw to him. So after this lesson, hopefully you guys will have the skills you need to go out and throw around a football. Thanks for tuning in.